Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and we have found uh, the base location that we are going to set up our first actual base. Uh, so, um, I have recorded uh, little little clips here and there of footage of what I've been doing off camera, and uh, I'm I'll put that together like just in a little montage. Uh, for you guys and well let's just go ahead and play that right now Hundred and eighty-nine point six degrees Fahrenheit outside. Yowzers!
Okay, so yeah, we put, uh, I set up a base computer over that way because that is, uh, there's a spaceport and there's two outposts there and some other stuff too. So that's the closest. What? What's the matter with my legs? <laughs> Better go see the doctor about that. Um, but we are at the, at the ocean uh, here. And uh, I wanted to, to build our base near the ocean so we have access to you know, the resources under the water and so forth. And um, I kind of like this little this little hill here. It's kind of nestled in among the trees and it's got a nice view. It's high up, but it's not like crazy high. And uh, so yeah, I think this is where we're gonna build our base. I'm gonna try not to, uh, I'm gonna try not to remove the trees as much as possible we will you know we'll we'll remove all the this stuff here and the and you know most of the foliage that sort of thing but i'd like to keep the trees um intact as much as possible uh, up here just because that's part of what gives this little spot its charm what is your issue go away um so yeah Let's uh, so let's go ahead and and figure out what we're gonna do here. <laughs> the first thing we have to do is, is put another base computer down. Um, and what I kind of have in mind, we're gonna start fairly simple. And we're you know this isn't this isn't gonna start off as a real elaborate base for two reasons. One, um, I still don't have all of the cool parts yet for that stuff. Uh, we'll get that you know as time goes on. And two, this is not necessarily going to be our main base for this entire playthrough. It could end up being an outpost. So we're going to start fairly small for those two reasons. And then, you know, if it turns out that this does become our main base for the entire playthrough, then we can expand it. Um, so, that being said, what I kind of have in mind is um, almost, you know, like maybe um, a multi-layer, multi uh, layered base that's kind of looking out over the water um, uh, when I, I'm sorry, multi-layered, like a multi-tiered base. So we ha would have like a, an upper floor here and then like a lower floor down here. And, um, you know, maybe even, well, actually, you know what though? This is, this is probably where we should start building here because it's relatively flat. And then maybe we could build up into the trees later on. Yeah, I think we should do that actually. I think we should do that. Okay, so now that I have figured that out, um, we need to put the base computer down first. I still don't know how to do um, uh, what you call it's beacons. Um, so once we learn beacons, I might go pull up that base computer over there uh, and just put a beacon down over there. Uh, but at present, that's the only way I can mark it, so I don't lose it. Um, so, okay, first check, for, first order of business then is to figure out where to put the base computer. We don't want it right where we're going to build, but we want it close by because we'll have to access it. So maybe what we'll do is we'll put it right next to this tree here. Um, okay, so, whoops, wrong weapon. Let's switch this over to here. Uh, I want to get all this dihydrogen out of here. that ferrite too. Those uh, bicopites or whatever they're called will probably end up taking those out too. Yeah, I don't want to take that tree out because I like that tree. I like that tree there. Uh, but I don't have a ton of room in my inventory at the moment. So, okay, so yeah, let's put the, the base computer right here. Base computer, and we'll put it right there. Oni Outpost, okay. Searching cartographic archives, universal archive search reveals no prior claims on the site. Sonar test confirmed site is suitable for construction. Claim site? Yes, indeed. All right. 
there we go. That is our, this is our first official actual base. The other one kind of didn't count because we were just doing it for the quest. Um, all right. So let's see here. We're going to, yeah, we, we'll just, uh, I'll probably rename that later. Well, actually, no, let's just rename it now. Okay, so we're going to call this... Um, OG Alpha Base. Alpha meaning first base. Okay, there we go. Uh, screenshot looks good enough. So we'll just leave that the way that it is. Alrighty then. So now we need to... Like I said, we're going to start down here. I want to try as much as possible not to mess up the ground. Um, but we might end up needing to do a little bit of terraforming. Do I have room to pick that stuff up? Here, actually, let's drop a couple things off in the starship. Okay, so um, we'll go here. I, I have to open these things up and see what they are, but I, I don't want to do that right now. So anything we, we don't immediately need, uh, we're going to store in the starship. And, and I... I should be showing this to you. I haven't actually put the montage together yet of the off-camera stuff, but I'm pretty sure I'll show you in that montage that we finally repaired the entire ship. So this ship is fully uh, repaired, which is really nice. We've got tons of room here. Uh, we're going to actually want this in our inventory. Okay, so let's go back to our exosuit. Uh, we don't need the signal booster right now. We don't need those right now. We do need that. Navigation data, that can go in there. Uh, I use the dioxide for, for life support. I'm no longer making those little things because the dioxide goes a long ways. The cytophosphate, I got that when I was just messing around under the water a little bit. So that can go in there. The activated copper can go in there. The uranium. And, uh... Okay, that's probably good enough for now. I just need room to, to do stuff here. Let's move all this stuff down so anything new that we put in our inventory goes uh, in the top so we can access it easily. Okay, so we got that done. Now, I don't know if those guys get irritated if we... Uh, whoops, wrong button. If we terraform. Uh, I want to remove all of this. Um, he's a little close to us, so let's go stand over on this side, I guess. All that stuff I'm going to leave there for now. Okay, so... Let's get this stuff out of the way here. Oh, that is unidentified. What's unidentified? Oh, that is... Bolt white. Huh. Interesting. Wait, did that that's unidentified too. Okay. I've been scanning all kinds of stuff. Just another hidden mineral in the ground that we can't see. Well, the nasty plant nearby. I think these guys, those things re-pop, re though, anyway. Okay, that should be pretty good for clearing this area out. Uh, like I said, we'll leave that stuff there for, for now. So this area directly in front of me is where we're going to start the first part of the base. 
Okay, so let's go into here. Uh, and I, I'm i assuming I showed you in the uh, montage there that I have learned storage containers. Um, so we now have access to that, which is going to be really important for what we're doing. Capped standing light flag. Okay, so yeah, we're going to be have to start off with wood here because that's all we, we currently know. Um, so if we set this here like that it kind of moves the terrain out of the way but not fully oh well, that one didn't make, make a noise okay let's go over this way And maybe even one more this way. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, how do we um, delete? Edit place part C. Delete X. Okay. Okay, let's um I what am I what I'm doing? I'm hitting some button. Oh, I know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, these aren't facing the right direction, so let's pick those back up. I wasn't really paying attention to that so much because I, I just wanted to figure out, you know, what the the layout's going to be. And we're going to need to try and figure out how to get rid of this dirt that's protruding from the floor too because that's no bueno. I did it again. Okay, um, let's go back to build mode. Oh. Why did that come up? cycle part oh I know why because I changed I changed to the this category okay we need to go back to this category okay let's put that there that there that can go there uh, oh for goodness sakes okay um, I just gotta get used to this it's been a while I want you to snap up there. Okay. All right, so I think we'll start with this footprint and, um, you know, then expand as time goes on. So, now, again, the question here is. How do I get rid of that? Can I bring this out and s switch to create flatten? Okay. Uh, see, that's not really, well, it's getting rid of some of it, actually. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, that is working. Well, it's not working here. So, what I might be able to do there is... Lift these panels up and then hit, hit it again with the platinum and then put the panels back down. That's what I'm thinking. It's because it's just this one spot here that it doesn't... This, this tool is different than the last time I used it. Uh, for sure. Alright, let's go into build mode. 
and go to edit. And we're going to remove this and this. Okay. Now. Yeah, I think that lowered it down. Oh, I see how this works. Okay, this is kind of like uh, Imperion. It flattens it where I'm standing. I, I believe. Where my feet are, that's, that's the level that is flattening it to. Because as soon as I stepped off the tile, then it started taking it down a little bit lower. Okay, does it raise it back up to this level too? doesn't really appear so not that we want it to I was just doing that more for science okay let's go back to here and back to here and back to here and now we should be able to pop these in and ha have the dirt not uh, protrude how to oh, rotate like that there we go oh man I keep doing that Z, C, X. C. Okay. Toggle build. Um, I, I switched categories again. Cycle. No, how do I... Sorry, guys. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take me a little bit to get used to the, all of this. Cycle part. No, we don't want cycle part. We want cycle axis scale, toggle free placement. How do I get back to... Oh, I just right-click the mouse. Gotcha. Okay. There we go. Okay. We have our floor. And there is no dirt protruding from said floor and this is a what is this a five by three yeah we'll start with that uh, with you know the intention to expand it as time goes on and as needed I don't know if I can fill this gap in without making it look ugly so we'll have to mess with that later, but let's get the actual structure itself uh, finished. Okay, so I'd like to have a pathway coming out of here. This is the middle of the house, but we could do it. I mean, this would be the best place to do it just because the ground already, you know, kind of lends itself to that. But symmetrically I kind of like to have a, the back door come out the center here and we can have a front door come out this way too all right so let's um let's get here and we want a, a door we're gonna put a door there and a door there So that way we can just go out all sides of the base. Cycle part. Is that a window? Extruded timber wall. That's just a solid wall door. No, that's just the way it looks. Interesting. That's kind of cool. Has like a built-in light. Okay, yeah, we'll go with that. Okay, so we'll go here. I'm sure there's, you know, we'll be able to get windows later. Um, but for now, I guess we'll just have to put these in.
Okay. That takes care of that. It's just Okay, so that just cycles to the wall pieces. Um okay, rounded timber roof. I think we're just going to go with flat because we will almost certainly make this a multi-story building. Um, so let's just put flat roof in for now. And again, this is just the first iteration of what might end up being many iterations, upgrades, and improvements of this base. It's kind of cool that they they come lighted. I mean, it doesn't really give off much light, but it looks neat. Okay, so for out here, we're gonna put in a a porch. Looks like that might have removed a little bit of um, terrain or something. Missing components. Oh, okay. This is the this is the part I remember about this game where we have to go out and farm carbon like there's no tomorrow <laughs> to build all this stuff. Uh, but we're off to a good start. All right. Now we're also going to have to do something about this what would be kind of neat is if we could make like a, a stairwell coming out but I might end up doing a wrap around porch around the whole building actually which means you know we're gonna have to remove some more of the terrain around the sides which we can do but what do I need Um, well, okay, hold on a sec. Quit. Quit turn my light off. Okay, let's build the uh, construction research unit. And we'll just put this by this door for now. Um... Is there a snap to grid option? There's a left shift cycle axis. What does that do? Oh, that's probably... It doesn't apply because it's in red. Toggle free placement V? Wait. Oh, no, I don't know what I just did. V. Snap placement enabled. Replacement enabled. It's not snapping though. Oh, I'm out of range of the ship to, for the. Okay, I couldn't figure out why that was turning red. Maybe snapping only works on the prefabs, I, I'm thinking, if I remember right. That's probably what that is all about. Okay, so we're just going to have to eyeball this then. Um, we can use the the feet of it and kind of line it up I wish my my dude wasn't in the way but we can line it up with the lines on the floor that looks pretty good and right about there okay analysis unit online indicate desired research path uh, buildable technology okay um battery solar panel Hazard protection unit, save beacon. Yeah, we're going to need to farm a bunch of salvage data for all that stuff. Yeah, that's a roof. Oh, here's, here's, um, well, they call it a ramp. It looks like a stairway.
Yeah, we're. That's probably what I need to do. I need to do is just go out and just start farming salvage. Like crazy to unlock all this stuff. It doesn't look like it's too terribly expensive though. This is stone. And this is alloy. Yeah, what they're calling a ramp definitely looks more like a stairs. Well, we're gonna we're just gonna stick with timber for now, I think. And then like I said, we'll upgrade as we go along. Oh, there's a window right there. That looks like a door and a window. Yeah, here's here's just a, a basic window. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have fun with this. All right. Let's also, for for now, um, we will put our refiner next to this. But um, I might move it later. We'll see. I guess that's fairly straight it's again it's hard to see oh you know what I can do I can pull it in closer and line it up that way and then just not move the mouse and move my guy okay and that's kind of clipping in the wall a little bit this is this one clipping in the wall Yeah, a little bit. Okay. That'll bug me. <laughs> so let, let's hold this out just a tad. Maybe to there. Yeah, that's better. And then this one. Maybe we'll hold it out to there. And we can put that one back a little further. Yeah, that works. Okay. So we got those pieces set. Um... So I want to, uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to make a storage. So, and then, you know, we'll make a, we'll make a, a teleporter and all that kind of stuff too. And the biofuel and all that. But, uh, the storage is here. So we need 35 magnetized ferrite. Oh, we have, we have it in the ship. Okay. So let's put the storage in this corner for now. I have no idea how far back that is going to clip into the wall. It looks like it's about halfway out. Oh, okay. Right when it turns green, that's when it's in the right spot. Okay. And then is it lined up this way? It looks like it's pretty well lined up that way. We can go, well, we can go way over that way. Oh, you know why? Because I'm out of range of my ship when I get this far. Okay. Is that sticking out? Oh, <laughs> it's sticking way out. Oh my goodness. All right. We might have to hold it out all the way to the edge of the tile. Is it the width of a tile? Yeah, it looks like it probably is. Oh, we got to put power on this. That's right. How do I... Oh, I got to be back in this menu and go to C. And... Move. Okay, that's a little different than the building pieces. So let's just hold it. Out to the edge of there. It's still right at the very, yeah, it's still sticking out. Hey, is that? Oh, no, never mind. 
Okay. So we need to hold out even further than that. So maybe right to here. <coughs> Excuse me. Put those on the front there. Go right about here. That works. That works. Oh no! It's sticking out the ceiling! Really? Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, that's a problem. Hmm. Why would they make the height of those just a little bit taller than the walls? That makes no sense. Oh man. Okay, well, I guess that means we're going to have to make this two walls high, unless there's like a half wall. That's silly, though, that they would do that. They should have made those fit in one, you know, the height of one wall. Okay, well, I'm not going to do anything about it right now, but we will need to do something about it eventually. Okay, so now what I want to do is... We need to put a bio reactor thingy down. I think just so we can access our stuff temporarily and also get a teleporter set up. I think we're gonna pop one up on the roof here. And again, this is not gonna be permanent. It's just gonna be a temporary setup. Okay, so. Biofuel reactor. We need to make metal plating. Wow, we're out of ferrite dust, seriously? Starship. Okay. Yep, we got to mine some ferrite. All right, you guys. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. You get the basic idea. So here's what's going to happen off camera. I'm going to mine up a crazy ton of ferrite. I'm going to mine up a crazy ton of carbon and get the power hooked up for our first storage and for a Stargate or uh, a teleporter and then get that linked up to the space station. And when I have accumulated a decent number of resources and we're ready to continue uh, the build, I'll bring you back at that point and we'll start the next episode. All right. Uh, I might also do uh, go do a bunch of salvage hunting, too, just so I can unlock at, at least unlock those basic wood parts. So I'll probably do that off camera, too. All right. So with that being said, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.